Hello everyone, this is Tatiana, and welcome to my channel. Some of you may recognize these nails from this video here. My client had a terrible injury, but today her little pinky nail looks completely different. Her pinky nail has grown out, but it appears that it has thickened. However, her cuticle has grown out normally. Today we can finally do a correction and extension on this little nail, so my client will finally have all of her nails looking beautiful again. Polygel holds wonderfully on my client's nails, so today we will be completing the correction again with Polygel. I'm taking down some of the length, about as much as has grown out. I'm also taking down the prior material. I'm leaving some volume in the center of her nail plate, but taking the material down completely on the free edge. This way we can minimalize them looking too high or thick. Once I viewed her nails from the side, I noticed how I'm going to need to add some extra material by the cuticle to get rid of this gap. After having taken down her old coating, I'm taking my nail file and filing down the tips. I'm also filing the lower sides of her nail in order to create a more clean and precisely shaped square. I'm also filing down the natural part of her nail for adhesion of the new material. Then I am lightly filing her pinky nail so that the material will hold on nicely and no lifting will occur. However, I'm not touching the free edge on this nail. Further with my nail drill, I'm cleaning up the cuticle area and then with a small pair of scissors, I'm removing the dry cuticle. Our cleanup is complete and now to prep for today's design. First off, I'm thoroughly dehydrating her nails, applying a non-acidic primer and then a thin layer of a base coat. As I mentioned, my client's nails hold material wonderfully and we've never experienced lifting with them. Therefore, I can simply use a non-acidic primer. However, for nails that don't hold material as well as hers, I would have to apply an acidic primer which works to dehydrate the nail plate even more. As I was trying to apply the nail form, it just wouldn't stay in place, so I decided that the best thing for this case would be dual forms. After filling the dual form with polygel, I'm pressing it to her nail but not with a lot of force so that the polygel won't seep out from underneath. I've sent that off to cure underneath the lamp and now it's time to remove the form. I'm then taking my nail drill once again and cleaning everything up. Then I'm adding a very small bead of poly gel to smoothen everything out. We've taken care of her pinky nail, so now it's time for the rest of her nails. I'm applying the poly gel with my brush that is lightly damp so that the material won't stick to the brush. I'm using a specific liquid for poly gel, but you can really use any alcohol-based liquid for this. Thank you. 
Now for our design. My client didn't have any specific colors in mind, but did want to try a cat's eye effect. So I'm coating her nails in this beautiful deep purple. And here they are. I love a cat's eye effect and this color is gorgeous. My client can now proudly go around with her new fresh set. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and until next time.